Team Action News, elevating Las Vegas, live at 11. Well, tonight, more fallout from COVID-19, this time for Station Casinos. The company announcing new layoffs and certain properties, including the Palms, may not reopen even when it's safe to do so. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels is live at Red Rock Resort. And Joe, the company says business will look a lot different. Yeah, Trisha, Todd, they'll be taking a very hard look at the numbers. Red Rock, of course, one of their very popular casinos here in Las Vegas, will be among the first to reopen when it is safe to do so, but staffing will be reduced. We've also learned from one casino operator, he sees the downturn as an opportunity. It's Black Friday for potentially hundreds of station casino employees. The company has announced the COVID crisis has led to some very tough decisions. Four of their properties, including the Palms, Fiesta Henderson, Fiesta Rancho, and Texas Station will remain closed even after authorities give the green light to open back up. They will open eventually based on business demand. It comes as no surprise, right? Uh, the uncertainty about how quickly and how substantially business will rebound is anybody's guess. 13 Action News financial analyst Steve Buden says when business is this bad or in this case non-existent, the belt tightening gets even tighter. I would guess that they did an internal analysis about which properties generate what type of cash flow, which properties have the most overhead, and then they decide, made those decisions accordingly. But there will be several station properties that will open when it's safe. Red Rock, Green Valley Ranch, Palace Station, and wildfire locations, among others. The company released a statement which reads in part, quote, We recognize how difficult this is for affected team members and their families, and we thank each of you for your dedication and for your understanding as we take these difficult but necessary steps to navigate this crisis. The company says the unspecified number of laid-off employees will be paid until May 16th. Health care coverage until the end of September. Unaffected full-time employees will continue to be paid with benefits through the end of May. The Culinary Union tells 13 Investigates, quote, The Culinary and Bartenders Unions will fight to ensure all workers are retained and do not have to reapply for their jobs, that their seniority remains intact, and that all workers are offered extended recall rights when the casinos reopen. It's certainly reflective of the economy. You know, we're not getting visitors and locals, which station tends to cater to, you know, the locals are staying home. MGM has also revealed several high ranking executives at the major strip properties have been shuffled around. MGM would not comment if any executives were cut Friday. The downturn is good news for some. Billionaire casino mogul Phil Ruffin tells Forbes he has enough cash on hand to keep his casinos, which include Treasure Island and Circus Circus, closed for 20 years. He bought TI for half of what it's currently worth during the financial crash of 2008 and sees financial troubles for some casino operators as an opportunity to expand. Uh, Ruffin has faced some criticism. Currently, 4,400 of his employees are furloughed without pay. But there is some good news. The Sahara on the Strip has announced that they are accepting reservations as of May 22nd. And Boyd Gaming, which operates 10 properties around Las Vegas, plans to target an opening for either later May or into June for all of their properties across the country as well. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe